I deal with lots of infertility patients from all over the world every week. And one of the big things we'll look at is we'll look at is overexercising a thing. A study that came out about a decade ago, looking at infertility, connecting it with overexercise. And I did a longer video on this, but essentially once a woman gets over five hours of exercise a week, it increased their chance of infertility by 3.2x. And again, this is an odds ratio. So this is like for every 1,000 people, let's say um, 100,000 people, 1,000 were infertile with the same exercise. The five hour group or above would be have essentially 3x that, 3,200, right? So we see that 3.2x increase. So it's not as big as you think it is, but it's definitely statistically significant. More exercise can throw off the hormones. Now, why? It's potentially because of hormones, right? It's gonna throw off progesterone, why? Because exercise can be perceived as stress. It can be perceived as inflammatory. The more stressed or inflamed you are, you have two major hormones here. You kind of have this seesaw, right? You have hormones that deal with inflammation and stress, and you have hormones that deal with rebuilding. And the rebuilding hormones also deal with fertility. So this is healthy balance of breaking down and building up. And as long as we have equilibrium there, it's not a big deal. But when we start breaking down, faster than we build up, now there's a deficit. And so when the body starts to see a deficit, it's saying, ooh, fertility is very expensive from a hormonal resource standpoint. And so the first thing that's gonna go, it's gonna knock down cycling, you're gonna be amenorrhea, it's gonna knock out fertility, especially you see women that get too lean, body fat gets too low, too much running, right? Too low body fat, once you get into that mid-teen level or lower, boom, fertility goes, amenorrhea starts to happen. You see it a lot in marathon runners too. You see it with more of the ectomorphic women because they don't have a lot of extra body fat to handle. So once that body fat drops, fat is kind of the body's storage reservoir. And so it's a big deal. Now, one of the major causes of infertility though in women is PCOS though, which is a hallmark of it's polycystic ovarian syndrome. But one of the hallmarks of that is increased androgens because of high levels of insulin. And so exercise does help insulin. So it's that five hour marker so that does seem to be a problem. So I don't think exercise is an issue. Just make sure one, you're, you're keeping a reasonable amount in. Two, you are feeling better after your workouts. You're feeling better. You can repeat them emotionally. You can repeat them later on that day or that next morning. You don't feel like you're hit by a bus. Make sure you're dialing that in. In this study, we looked at the five hours or more level. So I think exercise is beneficial. There's definitely a sweet spot. There's a you find balance of it throwing off your hormones. It's causing more inflammation. It's throwing down progesterone. And part of the reason why this happens is because progesterone can become a stress hormone. It can become and be converted to cortisol. And again, cortisol is dealing with stress and inflammation. So the more you are stressed and inflamed, the more progesterone can pinch hit and come in and fill in that gap where cortisol is needed. So I hope that makes sense.